Anyone who's up to date with their film publications might have noticed a lot of recent retrospectives for Paul and Chris White's American Pie, owed to the fact that the once cutting edge teen comedy has now hit the grand old age of 20. Luckily, I didn't see it in the cinema, otherwise I'd be feeling pretty old now too. Under a modern lens, a lot of these writers have been quick to criticise American Pie for its crass humour, but I believe that there's a lot more to this great American comedy than meets the eye. To see how, you only need to take a glance at the popular teen films that preceded it. Until American Pie hit the cinemas, Bob Clark's Porky's was the last major studio film, its numerous sequels aside, that centred around teenage sexuality. While the antics of Pee Wee and the gang might have entertained audiences in the 80s, anyone watching the film today will no doubt see its main characters as a bunch of unsympathetic perverts who really don't have any redeeming qualities. Due to the American AIDS epidemic ramping up in the 80s and 90s, as directors wanted to present a teenage lifestyle where sex is only briefly discussed, but never acted out. It wasn't until American Pie was released in 1999 that Hollywood felt safe to openly tackle the teen sex comedy once more. But while Porky's was an unrelenting tour through toxic masculinity, American Pie had a different approach to discussing sex, namely by bringing the female perspective into the fold. Sure, American Pie's female characters don't get as much screen time as their male counterparts, but hearing their opinions on sex was a huge step forward in terms of broadening the discussion as a whole. Even though Jim, Kevin, Oz and Finch all succeed in their quest to lose their virginity, before doing so, they realise that sex isn't everything, and that something far more valuable lies in their friendship and in treating their female classmates with respect. As Natasha Lyonne's Jessica says to the woefully inexperienced Kevin, relationships are reciprocal. And to me, that's the key message that American Pie tries to get across. It might not be perfect in its execution, but I feel like it's a noble endeavour nonetheless, especially for a movie that features a guy having sex with apple pie. If you enjoyed my take on American Pie, feel free to hit that subscribe button, otherwise you can vehemently disagree with me in the comment section. The choice is up to you.